Hi everyone, this is Grace from Xinan. Here's our computer control servo hydraulic universal testing machine. So this machine is suitable to test metallic and non-metallic material for the tension, compression, shearing, and bending test. So this machine can meet the ASTM, ISO, BS, EN, and DIN standards. Now let me introduce the main components of our equipment. So the upper space is used for the tensile test. The lower space generally used for the compression test, and it can also be used for the shearing and bending test. Our machine adopts the high stiffness four column two ball mainframe, and other companies use the two column two ball mainframe. So our company uses the hydraulic automatic grips built-in clamping device, which the sample clamping will be more stable, and the centering of the sample clamping will be better. So other company uses the external clamping device with the small clamping force and uneven clamping speed, which is easier to hurt the user. This is our oil power. The entire steel plate is mounted and fixed to the workbench, which improves the firmness and durability and ease of use, and eliminates the noise generated by the sample. So this machine adopts the USA sound valve, Germany servo valve, WNM motor with the high acuity USA load cell. This is our operation monitoring system, which provides a stable output power for the equipment. It also prevents any damage from the unstable power supply. This is our EDCH 550 control system, which can intelligently offer a stable and high-speed data acquisition. Our software has the recording function, which can effectively record and play back the entire testing process. For now, our engineer is going to show you how to install and do the tensile and compression test with our machine. Turn on the computer and oil power by turning the emergency button right. Open the computer software and choose the corresponding testing standard. Set up a new sample record by putting your sample information such as sample shape and sample size. Clamp the sample on upper grip, then adjust the lower grips to proper position through the hand control box, then clamp the sample on lower grip. Put the extensile meter on the sample. Clear the volume zero and choose the extensile meter option, then choose the control method and testing speed. Then start the test. As sample gets to the yell string point, you will get notification from software for removing the extensometer. Then you can remove the extensometer and click OK. Sample got broke as it reaches the maximum tensile strength. Test will automatically stop and data will be recorded automatically as well. Print out the testing report. Turn off all the power supply. 